Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Gulp full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the previous part, we did the basic introduction of the Gulp framework, what it is capable of and why we use it. Starting today, let's do some hands-on starting with the installation. All right, let's get started. This is part two of the series. I'll be adding more uh, episodes as we move along with the series. But for now, I have planned around 10 episodes. All right. So the first things first, if you want to work with Gulp, um, I had told you earlier in the previous episode that it is based on Node platform. And uh, a lot of uh, it works on Node transform streams, right? So it is based on Node.js, which means that essentially on your system, you should have node. So type node hyphen V and you should see the version number. And then once you are done with that, uh, type npm hyphen V to do the basic requisites, which is node and npm. You should have these two installed on your machine. That's the step number one. Step number two is to install the gulp CLI. So you will type npm install gulp hyphen CLI alternatively you can also add hyphen g which is globally but now i'm just running local to my folder npm install gulp cli what this would do is it will oh i made a mistake so sorry about that uh, let me create a new folder so that way everything is in one place all right so let's go into the gulp tutorial folder and then run that command which is npm install gulp cli all right, so it's already installed, so that's fine. The next is to create a project directory, which I did, gulp-tutorial. And now let's initialize the package. So you'll write npm in it. And just give, add the basic details. If you want, you can add all of this, but I'm not adding, I'm just entering it. And I will see package.json, which does not have it anything yet. So next thing you'll do is npm install gulp-save dev. So this is the actual command that would install gulp in our local, okay? So npm install gulp, that's the main command that you will run to install. So once it is done, you can see under dev dependencies, you can see the gulp added, all right? Okay, in the package, perfect. So, so far what you have done is installing gulp, okay? Now to verify whether the installation was successful, type gulp, hyphen hyphen version and you should see the local version and the CLI version. If you see these two, that means uh, you have successfully installed Gulp, you have created the project folder and you have installed Gulp locally. Okay. The next thing you can do is just create a basic file called Gulp file.js. Okay. That's the starting point of Gulp. Okay. If you cannot give any other name to it like this, Right. If you do, if you give any other name, it would think it is just a regular JavaScript file. It has to be mandatory gulp file dot js. Okay. That's how it will know that it's a gulp file. Okay. And that's the starting point. So for today, I think that's all you would do. But as we progress in the series, we'll keep adding tasks, a lot of uh, things in this file alone. Okay. So as part of this particular um, installation today, that's all we will do. I don't want to, to rush you, but I will take next two episodes to walk you through the process of plugins and tasks. Very, very important, especially from an understanding and fundamental perspective. So like next two episodes, I'll dedicate it to the plugins and tasks, and then we'll uh, start writing actual tasks. Okay. I hope you're done with the installation. So make sure that you are. And if you have any doubts, any questions, if you run into any issues, make sure that you write to me in the comment section and I'll try and help you as much as I can. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I'll see you in the next episode. We will learn about Gulp plugins. Thank you.